So here we go. Here's our Blazing Five, and I love my picks. That's a hot one. Let's blaze it up. Fire it up. It's Collins Blazing Five. Rams at Bills. I'll take the Bills minus two and a half. This is a really strong play. Like it, I love it. Buffalo is a home favorite, is 12-2 and two in the last three years. When they have momentum and the right team, they're pretty darn good. They're the only team in the league, top five offense and defense. You see on the screen there the improvement of young Josh Allen. Only the Patriots allow fewer points per game than the Bills since the start of last year. And their run defense is absolutely exceptional. And that's what the Rams rely on. The Rams will not run it like they have the first two weeks, forcing Jared Goff on the road to throw more than he's comfortable with. I'm taking the Bills minus two and a half to win 27-21. Raiders at Patriots. I'll take New England, the number now minus five and a half Patriots. Oh, by the way, The best team in the NFL, New England, after a loss, 27-8 and in the last decade. Easily the best in the league, all right? The Raiders are on a short week. They played Monday Night Football, have to travel cross-country. Maybe the biggest Raider win in years, highly emotional. And the Raiders do something very poorly. They allow six and a half yards of play. They don't give a ton over the top but you can slice them up six yards at a time. What does Cam and the New England offense do well? Get six yards at a time. New England's not going to burn you over the top much. They don't have a vertical threat. This will be a dominant New England time of possession game. Cam, six yards. Nikhil Harry, Edelman, they'll six yard the Raiders to death. I take the Patriots winning by more than a field goal, 34-26. to Bengals at Eagles. Upset of the week. I'm taking Cincinnati plus five. Remember, no fans in Philadelphia. This is not the same Philadelphia for a young quarterback, Joe Burrow. He's not facing a rowdy Eagle crowd. He's getting five points. And Cincinnati played on Thursday. So the young quarterback gets three extra days of prep. Carson Wentz has been all over the board in the last six games. Eight sacks, four picks this year, both tied for the most of any quarterback. I don't know if Philadelphia's locker room is good. They also have the most giveaways this year. This is a Philadelphia team that is in flux. It is a strangely confident 0-2 Bengal team that feels great about itself. They upset the Eagles in the fanless stadium in Philly, 27-24 Cincinnati. Texans at Steelers. I love Houston plus four and a half in this spot. Not sure they win the game, but think about this. So we're judging Houston because they lost to Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. (laughs) Everybody's going to lose to Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. The Steelers still make too many mistakes. They have at least one giveaway in 25 straight games. At least one. Their offense, now this, a lot of this is backup quarterbacks, but the Steelers offensive line run blocking this year has been atrocious. What does that mean? You're going to give Deshaun Watson 12, 13, 14 possessions, and the number here is just simply too big. Houston's going to feel desperate. They've lost to great teams. Pittsburgh is not a great team. They're a talented but limited, flawed team. Pittsburgh wins, but I'm taking the four and a half points, 27-26 Steelers. Bucks at Broncos. Like it, I love it. Tampa Bay minus six. Does everybody understand? Here's what the Broncos are since the start of last season when Drew Locke doesn't play. Three and eight. They have a winning record when he does play. They're not a good football team. They can't score without him. Nine touchdowns, seven picks. Jeff Driscoll's one in seven as a starter. But this is about defense. New England has totally shut down Alvin Kamara. Last week, they shut down Christian McCaffrey. What are the Broncos right now offensively if they can't run the football? They're Jeff Driscoll. Tom, this is like, a lot of times a touchdown favorite goes on the road as a little lackadaisical. Nobody's focused like Tampa Bay right now. They think they are not playing well, and their defense has actually been absolutely on fire. 
I think this game could get ugly by the second half. I'll go Bucks 27-17. I, I think I'm being a little conservative on that. I think we could have ourselves a blowout, but I will take Tampa Bay and Tom Brady, TB, to win and cover. I love my picks this week. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.